We recently had a mini set in Hearthstone, but if you have not noticed, a lot of the cards in this mini set are pretty lackluster. They don't see a ton of play, and it almost feels like we did not really get a mini set. The benefit of having mini sets in an expansion cycle is that it kind of reinvigorates the metagame. Basically, once a metagame is solved, having an injection of new cards allows the metagame to develop further, which means there's new possible decks, and the game is more fun for longer. But the main thing about a mini set is that it adds updates to the game. And this is something that I feel like Hearthstone is severely lacking in. I ran a poll on my YouTube channel asking, do you think more frequent balance changes would be good for Hearthstone? Majority of you said yes, Hearthstone would benefit. And I completely agree. So let's take a look at two other very popular games right now, Fortnite and League of Legends, and see how often they actually update their game. Looking at League of Legends, it looks like they update their game twice a month. And in these updates, you can see that there's buffs, nerfs, adjustments, and system changes to just items into the game. When we look at Fortnite, it looks like patches are usually released weekly on Tuesdays at 4 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. When we look at patch notes, you could tell that there's a ton of stuff being changed here. But obviously, the main one that matters is just weapons. Some are vaulted, some are added into the game. There's brand new weapons, there's new items, there's map changes. The list kind of goes on and on. When it comes to patch notes in Hearthstone, they're frequent, but they're frequent in a different way compared to the other two games, which is some patch notes only focus on specific game modes. You can see in this patch notes, they were only focusing on battlegrounds and standard patch notes. Before that, they were focusing on battlegrounds and updates to mercenaries, but no standard. And then for a bigger patch, it looks like they focus on all of the game modes. Patch notes for Hearthstone usually include what content is coming or any form of balance changes. This can include updates to battlegrounds and new heroes being added to the game, new mercenaries added to the mercenaries game mode, updates to duels potentially. And sometimes we do end up getting balance changes to cards. Most of the time they end up being nerfs. There are some times where we actually do end up getting some buffs. And I want to be very clear here. I think it's awesome that Hearthstone has been updating a lot more frequently than they used to be. The game used to get patches months in between, and I'm complaining about getting it monthly. I'm kind of an idiot here, if I'm being honest. But the reason why I bring this up is because compared to League of Legends or Fortnite, both of these games update the game more frequently, making sure that the game never really gets stagnant or the meta never gets boring. Oftentimes in Hearthstone, we get to a point where the meta game is solved and you quite often often face the same thing over and over again. Once a metagame is solved, people find the best decks in the format and therefore people know what to play if they're looking to climb. But to me, as much as I do enjoy playing Hearthstone when the metagame is solved, I like playing with new stuff. New content is always the most enjoyable to me. And there are three ways that I think Hearthstone could do more frequent balance changes, add more content into the game without releasing mini sets or expansions. First and most obvious answer to this is just by doing more frequent balance changes. One of the reasons why League of Legends has been around for over 10 years is that the game feels fresh because they do these micro adjustments to champions or items into the game. The real benefit of this is that nothing really feels like it's super strong for very long, meaning that new champions rise up being great, other champions get weaker, and it constantly creates a new dynamic in the metagame where something feels stronger than something else, and then the next patch comes around and it's completely different. The problem with this solution is how the economy works in Hearthstone. At the moment, if you craft a deck and you craft a very specific legendary for it and then that deck gets nerfed, you only get the refund of dust on the card that was nerfed, not the rest of the deck that you crafted. So more frequent balance changes kind of puts players who don't have every card in a really awkward spot because, well, it could just be potentially wasting dust when their deck gets nerfed, which means this solution does not really help Hearthstone whatsoever because players will end up being more frustrated than they probably would have been if they just stopped nerfing cards so frequently. Buffs are a little bit of a different story. I'm more surprised that they don't end up buffing more cards that just don't see any play. Just from the four expansions that are released currently in standard, there are a ton of cards that I can just name off the top of my head that don't see any play that could just get a little bit of a buff and maybe they become a playable card. For instance, the legendary from Forge of the Barons, Overlord Sourfang, kind of didn't see any play from the beginning and only became now a card that people probably forgot about because it just hasn't been playable really ever. Maybe buffing it to six mana or giving it additional stats stats would be just enough for the card to actually be playable and potentially create a brand new way to play warrior. They would have to be a little bit more cautious on how they buff cards because if a card ends up getting too strong, they're going to have to nerf it, which means we go back to problem A where people craft a deck and ends up getting nerfed and then they're sad. The second option is to do a fun event that they did in the past called Doom in the Tomb. Now, if you weren't around during Savers of Uldum, this was kind of a fun event they decided to do near Halloween where they brought back cards from Wild 
into standard until basically the next expansion descent of dragons came out they also did a bunch of random tavern brawls but come on their tavern rolls. They decided to bring back powerful cards from previous expansions, two from each class and five neutral. Now, a lot of these cards were meta definers, cards like Flame Waker, Mysterious Challenger, Nazoth. Some of them were a little bit more niche, like Vol'jin or Shaku the Collector. And some of these cards were just straight, you know, for fun, like Lock and Load and Renounce Darkness. But the main benefit of doing an event like this in Hearthstone is that it changed the meta completely. Now, unfortunately for them, with this event, they brought back evolve which did end up making a pretty broken deck in the format which basically dominated this event until the center dragons came out which may have actually put a bittersweet taste in a lot of players mouth but i feel like if they just did this again and not as long this was a really fun thing to do not only were these cards brought back from wild but they were completely free for every single player for them to play in standard this was a win-win when it comes to players in the hearthstone team because not only was this fun but it basically changed the meta completely and if they were going to do this again, do the exact same thing. Bring back cards that were competitive off meta, just completely meme and just let players have fun with brand new play styles with new cards introduced into the game. But just don't make the event nearly as long. I think looking back on this event, sure, Evolve was very good, but it just lasted way too long. Players just kind of got bored of this meta game. It got annoying to play the same thing over and over again because the meta game was solved. Just don't make it as long. Make it like a week long thing. And I know you could do a Blizzard because you just recently did it with Diablo in Battlegrounds. The only real con I conceded something like this is that competitive Hearthstone might take a little bit of a hit, but you could just do this event when nothing's really happening in competitive Hearthstone. Like right now, you could do this right now for a week and it wouldn't impact competitive Hearthstone. But I do think the next option is even better than this one. My third solution to this is using the core set to its full potential. The core set was given to every single player for free that they can utilize for that year of standard. The main idea of the core set is to set up the classes for the expansions that are coming out that year in standard to support archetypes. But you may have noticed that this wasn't the case last year, and it definitely doesn't seem to be working for every single class right now. If you look at Warlock's core set, there is a lot of stuff that does not see any play because it can't be utilized. Maybe later in the year, these cards can be used in a particular archetype that Blizzard releases, but currently they're kind of just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And there's so many different things that they could do with these cards. They can buff them to make them more playable. They can interchange these cards with other wild cards to support specific archetypes that they released in their expansions. For instance, we saw Warlock Murlocs being supported and not this Discord package that they have in the core set. Why don't we bring more cards that would support that archetype into their core set for now and change it later? Not only does this change the metagame a little bit, but it gives players different options to play with that they didn't have to spend any money for. And the best benefit of changing the core set more frequently is that it's a win for everyone. Players play the game more, which means they're more likely to buy more stuff in the shop, which means Blizzard makes more money and everybody's happy. Players not only have more fun and have more things to try out in the standard metagame, but it keeps players coming back more frequently the more you change the core set. It feels like this is a very easy way for Blizzard to keep players engaged for as long as possible when it comes to the standard format. They potentially sell more packs and it gets people more more excited for more cards to be added into the game. But I would love to know what you think about my changes in the comments down below. I will definitely be reading them, so I'd love for you to write one. I do want to mention two cons I can see with this. One is the amount of bugs this can potentially produce. More patches does mean that potentially the technical debt that Blizzard has in the client right now will show more problems, but hopefully this wouldn't actually be the case. The other potential problem is that players who are more casual in Hearthstone may not be able to keep up with frequent updates, which means this can cause a little bit of confusion, but they already have a system in place in the game for when balance changes are added to the game or when they have something new in the shop that pop up comes up. Also, you may not know this, but in mercenaries, there is a freaking mailbox that tells you if there are updates into the game. We could move that mailbox and just put it on the home screen and oh my God, it's like a whole new game. But anyways, thanks for watching my video. I hope you had fun. Let me know what you think. Look fantastic.